So here we're going to be using a round bottom flask and obviously these um, are round so to hold that steady I'm just going to put it in a large um, beaker uh, to hold it as a secure um, base. We are going to make an organic solvent so I have uh, 50 centimeters cubed of ethanol. Fifty centimeters cubed of glacial ethanoic acid. This stuff is uh, quite nasty. Um, we are going to using some quite nasty things. I'm doing all of this in a fume hood. I'm going to give that a bit of a swirl to mix it, and then really slowly, I'm going to add some concentrated sulfuric acid. If you look closely, um, the concentrated sulfuric acid changing the, um, the look of it because it's concentrated. Um, then we're finishing the beam head. So after mixing all of those things, I've set it up to reflux. Here I have my mantle. Um, you could use a Bunsen burner. Oh, water bath if you don't have one of these available. Here's my round bottom flask. This is just sitting ever so slightly above the basket here. So it's not sitting on it, it's sitting ever so slightly above it. I've got my connector and I've got my reflux condenser here. The important thing to remember with reflux is that the water needs to go in at the bottom. The cold water comes in here and then the hot water or the water that's been warmed up a little bit needs to go out at the top. So you can see this is bubbling away now and if we look really really carefully in here you can see if i just wiggle you around a little bit you can see that it's evaporating and it's condensing so you can see that the cold water is causing um anything that's evaporated to condense and then drop back down into the flask where it can be reboiled so reflux just lets the same things be reboiled over and over again after it's been refluxing for about 10 minutes, we just need to change all the quick glass around so it's now going to distill. Now we've set this up for brief, um, distillation. We've got exactly the same um, bottom flask bubbling away here. We've got um, a corner and a stopper on here and we've got our condenser and then all everything that's distilling off is collecting in this little beaker here. If I show you the drops. So it evaporates. It condenses and then the, the gas is sent along here and it condenses, travels all the way down here and drops into the end. So now we've um, distilled off two thirds of our solution, we need to add some uh, sodium carbonate to it and put it in a separating funnel. So you need to make sure that it's closed when it is in line, it's open, when it's not in line, it's closed. So I'm going to take the stop off the top pour in my sodium carbonate, pour in um, my uh, solution that we've just distilled here and then what you need to do is pop the lid back on this, we're going to be inverting it so we need to make sure that it's quite secure, you're going to need to have quite a firm hold on this, invert it several times to give it a mix and all you need to do is Open the, gap, open the um, tap to release any gas that comes off. I would do this maybe two or three times. You invert it until you stop hearing the little um, fizz, the little release that tells you a gas has been produced. And then turn it back out the right way and allow it to separate out into two different layers. You can already see here that we've got um, a lower layer and a top layer separating out. I'm just going to leave that for a bit and then I'm going to take it over here and pour off the lower layer. Now you can put this in a clamp if you want to. I'm just going to hold it for a second. So I've just opened this tap ever so slightly. If I want to open it fully, it will go faster. But I want to have control over how this works. So I'm just opening it drop by drop. And we are going to be discarding the lower layer in this case 
and we're going to be keeping the top layer. So it doesn't matter if a little bit of my top layer goes out um, and gets discarded with my lower layer, that's absolutely fine. If you were wanting to be keeping the lower layer and discarding the top layer, then I would stop so there's a little bit of the lower layer still in here. In here. But since we're going to be discarding the lower layer, I'm going to stop that, let it settle down for a bit. Since we're going to be discarding the lower layer, I'm going to go ever so slightly past um, the line so I lose a little bit of my top layer, but I make sure that it's all pure. You can see the layer is just here. Stop that. Drop a couple more few since I can still see the layer which is just about here now. Now in here I just have my top layer and that's what I'm going to use for the next part. So now that I've done that once, I need to do that again with 20 centimetres cubed of uh, saturated calcium chloride. So my stopper is closed, and this is the top layer from before. So in that goes. Again, I need to mix it. Pop that in there, make sure it's secure grip. Mix it a couple of times. Open the tap to release the gas. Mix it a couple more times. Open the tap to release any gas and then keep mixing it until you can't get here any more gas released and let it separate out. So again we can see two layers separating out, separating out here and again I want to discard the lower layer. So I'm just going to run this off until the layer has gone all the way through. I'm just going to release a bit of the pressure off the top and start running that down there. So it goes quite quickly once you take the top off. I'm just going to let it settle out for a little bit and then go very slowly, drop by drop, watching the um, part between the layers separate out through. And then here I just have my top layer left. So now that I've just got my top layer, I'm just going to let that go through into there, taking the top off to release any gas. Now I'm just going to add some um, solid um, anhydrous uh, calcium chloride. Doesn't say how much, so I'm going to add that much. Give it a bit of a swirl, and then what I need to do is to transfer the liquid into a round bottom flask and set up a distillation again. Now we're going to distill off again, but what we've added into the apparatus is a thermometer just here. So what we can do is collect of the different fractions which come off at different temperatures because we only want a certain uh, fraction. We are waiting for uh, something to dist distill off between 74 and 79 degrees. So everything that is coming out at the moment, we can just discard.